Welcome to Karen's Lab. Today is finally the perfect day to make bubbles. The humidity outside is just perfect. We have been waiting for some time to make these bubbles. We took the time to learn several important concepts. We learned about surface tension, cohesion, and surfactants. We're going to use all of that knowledge now to make great bubbles. I took on the task to find the perfect ingredients for these mega bubbles. Most of the recipes have done as the soap of choice. They also use distilled water and there are many other ingredients that people have tried to make these mega bubbles, such as cornstarch, glycerin, alcohol, green alcohol, baking powder, sugar. Of course, you know, we can use as the base miracle bubbles or just regular bubbles and also some polymers. You can look at the slime video to learn more about polymers. If we're going to make small bubbles, it doesn't matter much what type of ingredients we use. Basically, a little bit of soap in the water, that should be okay. But if we're going to make bigger bubbles, how big is big? This could be considered big. That is big, but not that big. If we're going to make bigger bubbles, that's when we have to start experimenting. And we start doing some chemistry and some physics. For example, what's the purpose of the glycerin? It prevents the water from evaporating too fast so it can last a little longer. Of course, I tried many recipes. In cups like this one, I prepared 25 different recipes. And then I narrow it down to eight. And those are the eight that we're gonna take to the park. Let's go. We're here at the park. Seems to be a perfect day to make the bubbles. Let's see which one of the recipes is the best one. We're gonna start with this little one. Let's try now with this one.
it works. 